Shalom. We coming again, man. We uh, brothers, man. We are coming again for another sit down. You know what I mean? And uh, we want to say Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. And we want to give all praise and infinite honor to Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shah. By Hashem. Barakatha Dash. Uh, we're gonna give salutations to the Akim throughout the four corners, and of course, we like to give a uh, double honor to the elders of Pastor Great Millstone for their rule well and teach well within this knowledge. Right. And uh, we coming with a uh, a lesson, man. Actually, the brother right here came up with a lesson, you know, basing basing it on just uh unity within the brotherhood, man. You know what I mean? Uh, uh getting around your brothers and uh the weather, man. You know, getting into these scriptures, basically. You know, if you want. Go ahead, elaborate on the doctor. That's right. Give me uh, Hebrews 10, 11, right. 24. Mm -hmm. Start at 24. You want to read 25? Mm -hmm. This is Hebrews 10 and 24. And it said, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. That's 24? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the scriptures say, Let us consider one another, man. And that's basically what we're doing here, man. Taking consideration of what that is. You're supposed to be doing the truth, man. Yeah. Yahweh Shah made sure that he took consideration of the uh, of his disciples, man, by breaking parables down to them. Mm -hmm. You know, when they was alone, you know, just being brotherly to them, man, washing the disciples' feet. You know, that's consideration, man. It's being considerate of something, man. Yeah, and, and if, I, if you don't mind me saying, read that again, now. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love. And to good work. And, and this is the representation of considering one another right here, man. Coming together, getting in the midst of one another, and, and, and actually getting it done. Right. You know what I mean? Because, you know, some brothers may have something to do. You know what I mean? Not saying, you know, a brother ain't got to take care of business, because, you know, brothers got to take care of their business. But for the most part, you call brothers, you see what's going on, you, you, you have consideration upon brothers to provoke them to what? To love. You, you know, you how about Shemmy Al Shah? Now I can say this too. Like being from coming from the world into the truth, this is way more better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got you know all of us come together and we dwell in unity and we go over these scriptures. Mm -hmm. The last part says, um, it says to provoke and to love and to do good works. What good works are we doing? This right here, man. The holy scriptures. When we bring it out, we go over the scriptures. Uh, we we talk about the scriptures constantly. This is the good work we in right now, man. Yeah, we grow we grow together. You mm know, -hmm. right? Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Kind of, uh, Hebrews 10 and 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much more as ye see the day of approaching. Correct, man. And the, and the, assembling, uh, the assembling of each other, man, is the coming together, man. You know, whether it be on the block, whether it be for sit-downs, you know, whether it just be the... Uh, to speak about just common things, man, or whatever the case may be, man, and exhorting one another, lifting one another up, man. Right. You, you know, text messages, you right. know, just, you know, how, brother, how your day was, or, exactly. you know, just sending out from something to just edify him on that the world is coming to, you know, is mm -hmm. the this, this, this good news mm -hmm. that we call the gospel, man, which is the good news, you know, just being able to relate good news to other brothers, man. Mm -hmm. You know, just let them, just let them know, you know, how uh, the YouTube shooting, just for examples, uh, you know, uh, uh, Putin just made a missile threat. You know, this is good news, man, because this is the uh, gospel unfolding itself in front of us, man. And so much the more as we see that they're approaching and they're approaching us when we shall all dwell in unity, man. And that's in, uh, in, in the new Jerusalem, man, mm -hmm. you know. So go ahead, Ike. Um, Song, that was it on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it on that. That Song. was it on that, right? That was it, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Psalms 133 mm -hmm. and 1. Uh -huh. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. That's right, man. <clears throat> and it says how good and pleasant it is, man. You know, it's a sort, you get a sense of, uh, you get a sense of, of, of a peace of mind, man, when you're with your brethren, man. You know, like when, you, when you're dwelling with the Akims, man. Yeah. You know, when you're united, that means you're together, you're bonded, you're strong. You know, there's no coming in between. There's no penetrating that, man. Mm -hmm. You know? A, a house that's divided, it shall what? Surely fall, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, 
you know, with the brotherhood, man, you know that what you got in the uh in your house about Shimmy, I was shot, whatever. He have came together, let nothing put asunder, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever he have put together. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and Yahweh by Shimmy, I was shot, have orchestrated this household, man. Mm -hmm. Men of the Lord, man, that's doing the work. He handpicked, cherry picked us as as uh to rep be a representation of him, man. Mm -hmm. So he bought this house together. The camp of the Lord is great, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's you know, it can be swayed around, you know, also the, the angels. That you know we use that in man just going off a little topic a little bit, but you know just not forsaking the uh, the assembly man is real important. So you know that's the brotherhood man. Right. Who they are, who's they uh, Proverbs eighteen and twenty four. Uh -huh. A man that had friends must show himself friendly. You hear that? A man who had friends must show himself friendly man. So that's like looking in a mirror man. It's mirroring yourself man. You know, taking the initiative to make sure you taking careful consideration to make sure that which is your brother mm -hmm. is in the same deeds as you, man. Mm -hmm. You render to that man according as you were doing to yourself. Yeah, you true. know, if you shit, you gonna wipe your ass. Sure. You know, so it's just it's it's that's 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 basic A B C knowledge you should understand as being in this truth, man. Simple. God. That's simple, man. One plus one. And it says, there is a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. And there's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Now to break this precept down, precept right there. it says, no, no problem. I, to break that precept down, it says, he who had a friend must show himself friendly. And there's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. And that's referring to an actual brother, a, a actual blood relative. That friend is referring to a neighbor, one of these men that's in a brotherhood, man. That's right. So that friend is speaking about a man that's in the truth, that's understanding that he's a neighbor to you, man. And that brother is speaking about an actual blood brother who's not in the truth. Who's not in the truth. So. And he's sticking it closer than. And he's sticking brother. closer than a blood brother, that's man. Right, that's right. So. We know as as walking this this truth, man. Is you know. Our foes will be of our own household, man. Right. Family members, man. So we know that the brotherhood is all we have, man. Which is, and if you get that scripture, oh yeah, you say you was on one, right? Yeah, I was on some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you grab that scripture, man, that it's first love Yahweh with all that strength, and we'll we'll pull it out, man, mm -hmm. to on um, to basically uh edify that, man. Yeah. You know, to get clarification on that, man. Because the brotherhood is alive. Because the brotherhood is like. Seven billion times way better than being in the world, man. And you can trust your brothers because we all feel the same power, the real power. Y'all were about some y'all shot, you heard me? So that's why I say, uh, dwell together in unity is pleasant. This is the most pleasant brothers I ever had, man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm more closer with these brothers than I'm actually with my uh, mom's other son. You heard me? Mm -hmm. so, you know, go ahead. Just uh, land back and off what the brother said about how this brotherhood is more important than your. Your uh, genetic your blood, your time. biological blood, right, brotherhood, right. or brothers. This is uh, Matthew chapter 12, I'm going to start at verse 46. Mm -hmm. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, speaking of Yahushua's uh, mother and brothers. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto, uh, unto him that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples, the brotherhood, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. That's right. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother, because we're all working in unison, doing the will of the Father, we're about our Father's business, just as Yahweh Shai, and this is the most important thing that if you've been called to do this, that you can do. What else is more important than this? You're preaching, you're preaching what's to come, mm -hmm. you're preaching what's already been, and you're preaching what's happening now. Right. You. And if, if you don't mind me saying, um, <clears throat> in this society, that's looked at in in the in the in a certain type of way. You know, that's looked at in, in, in a disdainment, like, oh, man, y'all yeah. dudes that close? Hey, man, you got to understand something, man. Back in the day, your brother was more important than your wife. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 
and, and this is the type of mentality that we have to have today. You know, because honestly, when, when they go out and speak this word, they were dying for each other. For, for who the Father's will. When we go out down the highways and byways, we coming against everybody in their ideologies, man. You know? So, so be, uh, uh, being unified in the brotherhood is, is, drastic, is drastically serious. You know? Because you, you, you get to actual, actually go to war with somebody that you know that's going to have your back, man. You know? Hey, because we all, we, it's a lot, yeah, because we are part of that body. The yeah. Howard by Shimmy Out shot. One right. brother to arm, other brother to left arm, other brother, to, you know what I'm saying, toes, all, anything, man. We are part of the body, you hear me? So it's, it's best to look out for each other, you hear me? Mm -hmm. Die for your brother, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that, and with that, it's a lot, guys. And with that, you know, just to edify that, the show, you, the show that you're supposed to look out for your brother is not only, you know, something that you should want to do. It's something commanded of you by the law, man. Right. This Romans 13 and 10, it says, love, work, and no ill to his neighbor, to which is his brother, man. Right. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Come. So it's the law. It's the law that you dwell amongst unity with the brotherhood, man. Right. This ain't something we just decided to do and they woke up and... Oh man, I'ma just let you come into my life and we strangers or something like that, right, man. Right, yeah. This been ordained by the most high. Right, right. This had to come together. Right, right. We, we should be bound on earth, should be bound in heaven, right. man. And we trust in the Lord. And man. we trust in the Lord. Yeah, and that, and that gives that gives us the mentality to let other people in our quote unquote personal space. That's when right. When you trust man. in the heavenly father, you could come in this man home or that man home or, mm -hmm. or my home. Because you know what? We know one thing. That he's gonna respect this place as if I'm gonna respect his, man. Right, pretty simple, yeah. Right. This is a uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 27. I'm starting verse 16. Whoso discovers secrets loseth his credit and shall never find friend to his mind. Love thy friend and be faithful unto him. But if thou be raised to secrets, follow no more after him. Mm -hmm. And that's what the brother was just saying: is when we're all in this truth and we're all in unison. We can let a, another brother come into our house and not worry about him seeing our wallet on the, on the right. countertop right. and take some money out of it. Or if it just said right here, uh, discover secrets, whoso discovers secrets. Right. Say a brother tells you something that's very near and dear to him and you go and tell just a, a two-thirds of somebody right. like that. that. That's not brotherly love. And the Most High is going to take you out for doing something yeah. like that. Because we are, the Most uh, High know uh, that, that a nigga will hear oh, you know. But a brother, man, he yeah, yeah. He, he only doing things to help, man. And that's, why, and that's why I say this is this is 20 billion times better than being in the world because you got brothers you can trust, you ain't got to worry about that. You're going to leave the wallet sitting over there, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You're in plenty of time, me and you, I slept by your house, you slept by mine, I ain't had to worry about none of that. You're, exactly. it's, it's more safe and, and comforting, and, and you know, we trust in the Lord, man, and it's right. beautiful. You remember that? We ain't got to worry about nothing with the brothers. You did? Because the Lord take you from different spots in life. And put you together, you heard? That's right. You know? And it's, it's all because of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, you're good. You ain't got to worry about that, man. That's right, man. I appreciate and, um, it. Nah, just see real quick. And, um, and, awesome, and we're totally together. We came solely together through the Spirit, man. That's right. Because we total strangers that's coming from different walks of life, man. Right, right. That the Father put together through continuity, man, mm -hmm. and knowing that each brother would have to basically feed off each other, man, to build a whole house, man. God, and, that's the, and, and that's the foot play. I'm just going to say, what, what the brother was just saying as we, we came together and we're all in one accord, like, some of us have only known each other for a few months, mm -hmm. but just by those few months we've known each other, we felt like we've known each other for a lifetime, or mm -hmm. several lifetimes. Just to go and just which is just going to show how strong this not only this brotherhood is, but this word that this brotherhood is built on. Right. And yeah. I can say this too, like when we at camp, you you think I'm gonna let any two thirds or either might somebody come up and home one of these brothers? No. That's why we don't watch and hold post. Nobody not gonna touch nobody out there or nothing. That's why the Lord said he sent us on the highways and Bible to be bold as a lion, you know what I'm saying? Even if you have nervous problems, the Lord gonna take that away from you. You're gonna be out there strong as a mug, you hear me? He ain't gonna let nobody do nothing to his prophets, man. Brazen right. wall. Right. Don't touch the apple of his eye. Leave him alone, you hear me? Because you know we got angels around us at camp and right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Going up and report and protecting us too. You hear me? That's right. And the angels encamping around those that fear the Lord, man. Yeah. Which is his which is his uh 
his tabernacle, man. Yeah. The tabernacle of the Lord is what he meant. Mm -hmm. And that's what holy meant. I mean, yeah. I'm going to grab this real quick. All right. It's Galatians 5 and 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor uh -huh. as thyself. Uh -huh. man. Some similar to that, that's to the point. You can bring that up. That's the two. spirit. I, I got that's to the two. point. Mark, I, boy, Mark, Mark, 12, up, Mark 12 and 30. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Right. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul right. and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. Right. This is the first commandment. Mm -hmm. And the second is like, namely this, mm -hmm. thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's right. I got a precept. Y'all mm -hmm. about to speak on it? Hey, yeah. that, that, that's self-explanatory. That's right. The second, this, uh, the first Peter is 2 and 17. It says, honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Hmm. Fear the most high, honor the king. That's right. right. <laughs> Love, you hear me? How about that? We always say that all the time to each other. How about that? We really mean it. We should sit when we say it. You hear me? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why brothers shouldn't really take it offense. Of course, if you're not a brother, you will. But that's why brothers shouldn't take it offense when brothers rebuke one another because that's yeah. out of love of the Lord, man. Precept. That's really that brother saying, man, I can that fire you over there. Don't you exactly. know, you gonna, you gonna move in that. He, he's saying it his way, but I mean, like, don't take it the wrong way. If that's right. your brother, you're, that's you know, what I want to deal it. with men, right? Because men's supposed to be able to say, ah, stop doing that shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. Simple and not be like, man, I want to do this. You know what I mean? Or, or trying to get on your feelings and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's not where we at with it, man. When you when you men, you dealing with men, and you deal as men. Even if the brother is is um, I I can say soft spoken or rough, right? Because we we different brothers in this thing, man. And we got a different type of personality. But at the same time, at the end of the day, the heavenly Father say His tabernacle is with men. That's right. With the testicles, the testament. That's right. Right. The Lord said, "Gird up thy loins." You gotta, you a man. You gotta you got it, man. You gotta go through that, man. Simple. You know what I'm saying? From what the what the brother just said about how uh, you should take a, a rebuke uh, without getting any emotions if a brother uh, rebukes you for a certain thing. This is Ecclesiastes seven verse uh, five. It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise, your brothers who care about you, than for a man to hear the song of fools, the two thirds who's just going to tell you how to roll a blunt yeah. and uh, uh, when y'all get high talk about uh, oh it's a uh, is the moon flat, or is uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, uh or is pizza made right. out of sandpaper, or something like that? Yeah. Something ridiculous. Yeah, but, man. A brother gonna be there and talk about the faults, how we cannot allow those faults again. You know what uh, I mean? But, but like these I old, they got a lot of old jakes out here that ain't learn from the mistakes that they made, but that'll send you down the same road that they constantly keep on fucking up on, man. But they'll tell you. Like, like that said, the last part about them telling you like to go off or something. They, they won't even tell you you're going up. They'll tell you keep doing it. God gonna Jesus yeah. gonna bless you. But your brother like, man, don't do that shit. You tripping, you heard? Jake been been to the hospital three times for eating <laughs> pork chops and tell you my grandma's still alive today for eating it. The doctor told you stop eating a certain type of weight, but you gonna tell you gonna you gonna come tell me. You're not gonna tell a doctor. Jake, Jake gonna go home and tell a doctor, oh yeah, now we're eating properly. But he'll come back and tell you, man, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Right. What that Jake won't tell you about his grandma is that she's got a peck leg and an eye patch. Exactly. And a worm in the arm. Yeah. They ain't gonna tell you that my mom been taking pillars, penicillin shots for over 10 years now. They're like the, uh, you're talking about the uh, diabetes shot. Yeah. Yeah, man, but, you know, and the ultimate thing, man, you know, when it, you know, when the, when it, when the, when the, when the curtains close, man, and and the, and, the, and the moon go down, man, or whatever you guys want to call it, man, you know, it's just that at the end of the day, you know, like Nino said, man, we all we got, man. We all we got. Right? I mean, um, uh, Salak, um, you know, we all we got at the end of the day, man. I know what you're talking about. Who else? In New Jack said it, man. I mm -hmm. forgot his name. Yeah. Whatever, but we all we got, man. We got. Right, and when, and when, when, we'll close it after that. Uh -huh. And when, when. This is all you have, man. You you cherish it, man. You hold it near and dear. That's true. Because if that go, then what you have, man? Right. Okay. You let your brother go. It's is a is a is a stripping that says um it's nothing more for you. It's nothing better than for a man to lay his life down for his brother, man. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you that's know this all or nothing. It's either we that's the spirit. It's either you know we laying our life down for these men, man. Mm -hmm. 
all, you know, we just walking away. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't walk away from this because the Most High ordained it. He put you up. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, embrace it. You know, embrace this own brotherly love, man. And go about it in, in like manner, man, where you also shine, brotherly love. Bring it out, right? This is John 15, 13. Uh -huh. Greater love had no man than this, uh -huh. that a man laid down his life for his friend. Mm -hmm. For his friends. So like it. They got that's on the end of that. Yeah. And, that's, and that's, that's his neighbor, man. And that's a neighbor is a man that's true. Mm -hmm. Who's keeping the own law, statutes, and commandments according to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. Who's walking in the ways of the law of, of, of this book, man. Mm -hmm. So... And the volume of the book also comes brotherhood with a with a sort of all kind of other things, man. But you gotta move according to what's in this book, man. That's right. If you're not moving according to this, what's in this book with a brother, mm -hmm. that's not a brother to you. There's no that's an earthly friend, man. And, no that, and, and, and this is your house, uh, Salaki. Wait, wait. I'm gonna say that. Too. As that can two walk together unless they be agreed. Is that right? right. And, and this, and with that, this, 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 this written in red. So this is your house, speaking. You hear me? So mm -hmm. let me read it. and I'm gonna say something that we can close it. You hear me? It says, uh, greater love had no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Now, I'm not going to leave my life down for no motherfucking two-thirds niggas, man. Yeah. I'd rather die for these men right here because they it. praise and they feel the same power I do, you hear me? Mm -hmm. They go out and do the same thing I do. They don't eat crawfish, shrimp. They don't smoke cigarettes. They don't do none of that shit, man. You know I'm not down, 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 down for none of these wicked-ass niggas, man. I'm not jumping in front of no bullet for them niggas, man. Mm -hmm. No, That's right. That's what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Just think about it, uh, 300. Uh, all those men were ready to die for the man next to him, and what he was saying, uh, the brother was saying about not putting your life down for a two thirds. They didn't trust in that hunchback because they knew he was going to turn him over. And what did he do in the end for a little bit of pussy yeah. and, a, and a goat head on a human body? He, he turned him over. Right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. You know what they're doing? Yep. Yeah. And, 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 oh, like, and, and when you do it, man, you do it honorably, man. Yep, yep. Not in dishonor, but into honor. And glory in the Lord, man. Yeah, I will buy some of y'all We don't pray, right. man. And uh, the sit down was beautiful, man. It's good to dwell in unity with the brothers. There, man. Right. Uh, well, with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elder apostles who rule well, teach well. And Shalom, Baka Salah, Baka Yah to y'all brothers, pushing that truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.